Thanks for watching this video. I am Sijesh. This video we will see how to change the name node roles manually by using commands. So by default, Zookeeper failover controller will take care of this role change whenever there is a failure hop occurs in one of the name node. But in some case, if your Zookeeper is down or Zookeeper failover controller had some issue, so you have to manually do this role change. So I will walk you through the steps that you have to do for this. So the first part we will see how automatic failover happen with the help of Zookeeper failover controller. So let me try to stop one of the active name node. So stopping here and uh, so once it's stopping so you can go back to the HDFS menu and see the name node service is stopping. So immediately once it's stopped you can see the standby one has changed to active state. So this is happening with the help of Zookeeper failover controller and which is part of Zookeeper service. So now do the same thing after shutting down Zookeeper service. So I'm stopping my Zookeeper service here. Then go back to the HDFS. So you can see I have active and standby. So I am stopping my active name node. Stop here. And uh, so here you can see the one is which was in standby still in the standby state. There is no automatic failover happen here. So this is because the Zookeeper failover controller is not working now since I stopped Zookeeper service. So next uh, we will see how manually we can switch these roles. So for that you have to go to the config and search with the failover keyword and uh, change this automatic failover to false and then save. So after saving so restart the required components. So you can see the circular orange and restart those components which are affected due to this change. So since the Zookeeper failover controller is not working, so you can see both name node are in standby state. So we have to manually switch one of these to active state. So now, So now get the service ID for each name node and go to the configuration and filter it using DFS HA name node parameter. Then you can get NN1 and NN2. So these are the service ID. So you need this service ID when we do it from the command line. And also DFS name node HTTP. So this will give you, so which one uh, NN1 is pointing to and which one NN2 is pointing to. Then come back to the command prompt, type HTFS HA admin. So this will give you the list of options that we can use along with this command. Then use HTFS HA admin, get service state and service ID. So that is showing NN1 is in standby and NN2 also in standby state. So you can change the role transition to active so that it convert NN1 to active. So you can use the force active option to forcefully do it. So wait some time. So you can see that first name node is changed to active state now. So next you can convert a name node into standby state by using this option transition to standby then id nn1 so that it convert nn1 into standby state. So you can verify that from Ambari. So this active slowly changed to standby state. Thanks for watching this video. So please give me a positive comment and like if you like this video. To get more updates, please subscribe this channel. I will be uploading lot more contents over time. Bye. See you in the next video.